The perfect feather cutting has points at both ends. And the reason being is that if you don't have points, oops, sorry, if you don't have points at both ends, it interrupts the flow of your mosaic. So very, very the important. Feathers you get um, are sort of this shape. You'll have a straight bit. Oops, I'm just too close. You'll have a straight bit with points at both you ends. You end up with a blunt end like this one. You need to reshape it because it is going to interrupt the flow of your mosaic. So that's not a great bit of cutting. The other end is, so I can fix this one up. I'm going straight for the new favourites first now. So we'll bring these in and we now, now know how to cut slivers. And let's have a look. The first one usually has a blunt end. So that would need... The first cut normally has a blunt end, so that would need a bit of shaping to get the two points. And then you check those. The blunt points are more than likely to be on this first cut. So that would make nice little inserts. So fantastic on the three mil mirror. Come in, cut the crest of the waves off. Whoops. And then you end up with the other shape that's highly desirable for feathers is the double pointed, sort of double pointed triangle. Now that's great flows. That would look terrific in a sunset where you've got, say, water that has a little bit of a reflection. A couple of these sprinkled through would look awesome. Okay, back to the three mil mirror and making our slivers. Look how perfect this sliver is. How awesome are those points? That's gonna create some uh, great flow. So either one is working fabulously well on the mirror, well, the three mil mirror. And the lovely Rosie O'Brien reminded me is to change using from one to the other so I don't end up with repetitive strain. So I can use both of these equally happily and not worry about strain. Mono lips for this four mil mirror. See how we go, which is the perfect size. So I'm getting absolutely perfect cuts here. They're strewn everywhere. I need a bigger bucket, but then you wouldn't be able to see. Cut off the crest of the waves and we get more fantastic slivers. I'm going to sprinkle these, actually, these big four mil ones, through um, my next rooster. So it's got little shiny bits on his chest because he's such a handsome devil. Now, what about the lipinets on the four mil? Equally good, I'm expecting. Oh, yeah, I have to squeeze a little harder. Yes, I do. I have to squeeze a little bit harder with the lipinets on four because it's amazing what that does. So I'm getting uh, more blunt ends. So you need your good nippers on the four mil, absolutely. And um, this is recycled mirror. It's got a scratch on the back, so that would be no good anyway. But you can see how the blunt bits um, really interrupt the shape and flow of the um, slivers. So that even happens on when you're doing the side ones, like this has got a blunt end here. You'd have to get rid of that. That would that would just, um, that would drive me nuts. So verdict, either or on the three mil, if you're going for a larger mirror or you use a lot of recycled mirror, which will come from all sorts of places, uh, domestic um, mirror at home, and it's thicker, so you'd want the better, the better um, monolits. Fantastic. 